In this video, what I want to talk about is associativity in order of precedence. Welcome to Introduction to Programming. My name is Alex Louie. And I'm going to start out by going through a chart of what I mean by associativity and order of precedence in regards to relational operators and logical operators and arithmetic operators. So let's take a look at that chart. So the chart itself lists the first, the order of precedence as to when it will get executed from a great a most precedence to highest precedence to the lowest. And then there's also a column that gives you the order of the associativity when you have two operators of similar precedence. So for example, if you are going to do a expression that contains a multiplication and a division, then obviously the order of precedence is the same. But if you have something like five times three divided by four, then if the order of precedence is the same, then you would have to look at the associativity as to how to evaluate them. And I'm gonna show you an example on how that works. Same thing with an addition and subtraction. If you have an, two, an expression with these two operators, a plus and a minus, so let's say you have five plus three minus two, and because the plus and the minus have the same precedence, then you have to look at the associativity as to how to evaluate. So it says to go from left to right, okay? Uh, and if you have multiple uh, expressions with different operators within them so then you'd have to evaluate them on their order of precedence and then their associativity so if I'm mixing addition and subtraction with a less than which is a relational operator then you know that you're gonna have to evaluate the addition and subtractions first and then you would evaluate the less than same thing if you're doing less than and then a logical right Logical is all the way on the bottom of the food chain. So first, you'd evaluate the less than, all the less thans or anything that's higher than the and, and then you, the last operations, that, the expressions that you would evaluate would be the ones with the and. So let's take a look at a coding example. Here I've declared four variables of Boolean type and two variables of integer type which I can use for my ar arithmetic operators. So if I look at this first expression, result one times result two is greater than Boolean result one, right? If I am looking through, and actually let me get rid of these parentheses so that we actually have a good, because in C++ anything that is in parentheses will always be evaluated first so I'm, I'm going to get rid of the parentheses so that we actually hit the precedence and the associativity. So if you look at the operators in this expression, you have the multiplication and then you have the greater than. So that means that if we look back to our chart, who has the higher precedence? The multiplication or the greater than? The multiplication. That means that we'd have to multiply result 1 times result 2, which is going to give you uh, 150, right? And then it'll evaluate this into 150 is greater than Boolean result 1, which is true, right? So the result of this is going to be higher than this value. Again, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm evaluating the expression according to the rules of precedence. The multiplication sign has the highest precedence, so I'm going to multiply these numbers together first. The result of this, I can now evaluate this operator, because this is the next precedence, along with its right operand. So this in general will give me a result of one. So if I run this, it's 
it's going to give me a, a true result. Because remember, all the relational and logical operators will always give me a true or false value. Okay. Let me close that. So let's look at the next example. The next example has a couple of mathematical expressions. Take off the parentheses. So from this particular problem, if we go back to the precedence chart, we know that the multiplication has the highest precedence. Then we go into the subtraction and then the relation operator of greater than. So what really we should do is take a look at the multiplications. And now which one do you evaluate first now? Because we have now two multiplications, right? So these two multiplications have the same precedence. But what happens when you have an operator of the same precedence? What did I just say? If you have an operator of the same precedence and they have multiple expressions binded to them, then you have to use the associativity for the ex for the operator. So that means that we're going to go from left to right. So first we evaluate this one and then we evaluate this one. Once we do the multiplication of these two and then the multiplication of these two, then what's the next operator in the order of precedence? It would be subtraction. So then the result of this and the result of this would have a subtraction result and then we do the greater than one right so whatever the result of this expression is going to be compared it, it's going to ask the question is this greater than one if it is then it's going to return true if it's not then it will return false well, my point here is that first we have to evaluate the expression according to the precedence and then the associativity so it's important to remember here we have different math operators two are the same of the same precedence so here's a multiplication here's a multiplication and when you see that then you have to look at the associativity the associativity tells us to go from left to right so we take this left to right and then this left to right so now the result is going to give us one because whatever the result of this is is still going to be greater than one okay still going to be greater than one so if we actually take a calculator right what's going to happen is result one times result two which is 10 times 15 it's going to give you 150. Then we're not going to subtract by 2. We still have the other multiplication left. So what's going to happen is we're going to have 2 times 10, which is going to be 20. So then now we've done, we've eliminated both multiplication signs and operations. The only thing we have left is the minus. So then you'd do 150 minus 20 which is going to give you 130. 130 is still bigger than 1 so that's why it's returning true. But if I was putting something like 140 here, oops, let me just stop this. If I was putting something like 140 here, then this actually should return false because 130 is not greater than 140. So if I run this, see that? It's returning false. Again, order of operations and then associativity. So now let's go to our next example. Next example shows us that we have two operators here. We have a not and a greater than. The not supersedes everybody. So when the compiler looks to evaluate, it's first going to say, okay, I'm going to evaluate all the nots. So not true will give you false. Is zero greater than one? No, it's not, right? 
So if we evaluate this as a whole, then it's going to give you a false. And there you go. Okay. Again, all I did was I looked at, in order for me to evaluate it as a human, I looked at the associate the oper operator precedence and then the associativity. So in this particular case, we have different operators, so we really don't have to look at the associativity. We just look at, have to look at the precedence. Who has a higher precedence, the not or the greater than? The not. So that not is going to get evaluated first and then the greater than. Okay. So we go for our next example. Now this is not going to give us a Boolean result. This will give us some type of arithmetic result. Now if we evaluate this, it's going to actually give us uh, 150, 150 plus 150, right? Again, we take a look at our precedence. We have a multiplication, a multiplication, and then we have an addition. Multiplication goes first and then addition. Multiplication, multiplication, now we have to look at the associativity. It's left to right. So result 1 times result 2 is going to give you 150. Result 1 times result 2 is going to give you 150. So 150 plus 150 will give you 300. So if I run this, that's what I should get, 300. Okay. And then I purposely used the same variables but different operators so you can see the difference right here I flipped the signs so when it was multi multiplication and then addition now I'm doing addition and then multiplication this is going to change the result why because of the precedent the operator precedence and the associativity instead of doing multiplication here and here and here now this is actually going to go from left to right starting with the first multiplication so we're going to multiply these two and then these then the result of this will be multiplied by result two and then finally we're going to add result one so the precedence here is different and because we have the multiplication here adjacent to each other then you're going to have a left to right associativity so go from left to right left to right again left take that result and then multiply it again left to right and then you do the addition and you would have your results so if I compare these side by side you're going to see that it's going to be two different results okay and there you go 300 first one and the second one is 2260 because of the precedence and associativity of the expression okay take a look at a few of these see if you can mix up declare your own variables practice and see if you can figure out what the associativity and expressions are uh, for these particular operations but it's pretty simple um, all you have to do is just look at the operators that are in in the current expression decide which one goes first which operands belong to which and then evaluate and it's it's simple from there okay as long as you know the rules behind these then you are fine any questions you could always email me at part-timeadject at gmail.com or you can leave me a, a note on my youtube channel thanks for listening and thanks for watching i hope to see you on the next video